Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about anatomy of the profunda femoris artery. The profunda femoris artery is the largest branch of the femoral artery. The profunda femoris artery, also known as deep femoral artery or deep artery of the thigh, also called arteria profunda femoris supplies all three compartments of the thigh the medial compartment posterior compartment and anterior compartment structure like muscles origin it branches off from the lateral side of the femoral artery about four centimeter below the inguinal ligament course the profunda femoris artery descends over the iliopsoas between the adductor longus and adductor brevis and then between adductor longus and adductor magnus its distal part pierces the adductor magnus to transmit four perforating arteries okay if you look at the image here this is the femoral artery and this is the profunda femoris artery profunda femoris artery has branches like lateral circumflex artery medial circumflex artery okay medial circumflex arteries here medial circumflex artery and it has one two three four perforating arteries artery okay we got that so again here on the posterior aspect if you see femoral artery this is the profunda femoris artery deep artery of the thigh and it has the perforating branches one two three four this is the terminal continuation of the profunda femoris artery and profunda femoris artery branch like that of the medial and lateral circumflex artery contribute in the trochanteric anastomosis and also in the cruciate anastomosis trochanteric anastomosis between lateral medial circumflex femoral artery the superior and inferior the the trochanteric anastomosis is formed by the lateral and medial circumflex femoral arteries and superior gluteal and inferior gluteal arteries the cruciate anastomosis is formed by the medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries and the inferior gluteal artery and the first perforating branch of the profunda femoris artery okay we got that i'll go to the branches as you discuss medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries this artery supplies the hip joint and surrounding muscle and take part in trochanteric anastomosis and cruciate anastomosis trochanteric anastomosis is at the level of the trochanteric force of the femur okay or the greater trochanter and this is formed by the superior and gluteal superior and inferior gluteal artery lateral medial circumflex femoral artery cruciate anastomosis is formed by the inferior gluteal artery lateral medial circumflex femoral artery and first perforating artery perforating arteries are four in number maybe three maybe five in some individual they penetrate the adductor magnus muscle to supply the posterior compartment of the thigh function of the profunda femoris artery it provides main blood supply to the deep muscles of the thigh by the perforating branches mostly including the adductor magnus anterior and hamstring groups and it's crucial for vascularization of the femur 
Clinical significance, injury or blockage to the profunda femoral artery can lead to significant complications such as ischemia to the thigh muscles. It can, involve, can be involved in condition like atherosclerosis or fracture of the fracture and that's all about the anatomy of the arteria profunda femoris or profunda femoris artery or deep femoral artery of the thigh if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends please support my channel and please subscribe me have a nice wonderful and blessed day bye now